Do you want some metal? Hello and welcome to the Metal Chorus channel. Today we are looking at Searching Serenity's I Won't Bow Down. Searching Serenity was a band that I got into I think about two years ago. It was like right during when the pandemic hit. Maybe like a little bit before. But right around then. That was right when I was starting to get into like Deathcore and all that. Like I, I've heard about Impending Doom for a while but I never like checked them out. Until then I did and I fell in love with them. And around the same time I fell in love with them. I started falling in love with Searching Serenity. I'm a huge, huge fan of their last album, Struggles of the Earthly Ones. It's super sick breakdowns. I, blast beats, I'm pretty sure. And they're like all the deathcore stuff. Brutal vocals and production's really great. Um, I'm expecting all that same stuff to be in this single. Maybe even a little bit better production than that's been a few years. Um, this is a one-man band by Robert Manzone. I'm pretty sure I pronounced that right. If I didn't uh roast me in the comments thanks robert uh but yeah so without further ado let's get into it Ooh, really chunky off the bat oh man this is gonna kill me okay like I wonder what he used to shoot this on, because like it looks really good. Like there's some definitely professional. I think there's professional lighting or something like that. We're like not even a minute into it, dude. Ugh. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Ooh, that ride. Oh man, that's good. Dude, put up some shoes. That smells. I can smell from here. Oh man, that just hits with the double kicks. Gotta roll up the sleeves, boy. So many breakdowns. Oh, close tie hat. Love that lead line in the back. Very cool. Zeros all day, baby. Ooh, hard stop. Ooh, where are we going? Ugh! Ooh, love that bend. Oh, nice. Ooh, that got dark. I love how, like, he's just all metaled up, scened out, and then you just see his diplomas, and then there's the dog picture on the side. Love it. Ooh. Love those triplets in there, that's cool. Judging by the shadows, he definitely has some kind of lights in there. Maybe not professional, but still, it looks really phenomenal.
Oh, are we fading out? Is that where we're going? Yeah, we're fading out. Alright, cool. I like how we're fading out on this. Nice. That was really cool. Uh, let's talk about it. Alright, that was a really sick track. Um, that's pretty much exactly what I was expecting from Searching Serenity. Um, production was still really good, especially for being a one-man project. I'm 99% sure Robert mixed and masters all of his own stuff. Um, so, like, the production being um, self-produced is really cool. Um, and it sounds really good. It's very modern. has a lot of, like, you know, thickness, thickiness. And, like, the drums. I love the drum samples. I'm not sure if this is the same ones from the album. But still, they're phenomenal. And, like, the, the ride part's really good. But let, let's get into it. Let's break it down piece by piece. Uh, let's start with the top layer, the vocals. Like, they were consistent all the way through. Um, I was never really, like, uh, you know, especially, like, rolling my eyes at any parts like that. Like, they were, it all fit really well with what the song was doing, with what the guitars were doing. Speaking of guitars, guitars were great, phenomenal. Like, there was just, there was so many riffs and so many breakdowns. that It was just really just a, a trip down, like, deathcore lane. Like, it was just breakdown after riff and just, it was just great. I loved that. And it was all consistent. Um, nothing like stuck out as like a sore thumb. The parts that did st stick out actually like meshed well. They were just a really cool, unique part of the song that fit with it overall. Um, bass, I'm sure bass was in there, uh, but the drums, you know, you know how to point and click on a computer. I'm assuming that they're MIDI. If they're not, I apologize. Roast me in the comments again. Um, but yeah, the drums felt natural. Like as a drummer myself, like they felt natural. They felt real. Um, it wasn't like, you know, the, the drummer would be doing something that's impossible. Like, the only thing that, like, stuck it to me was, like, the, that super fast ride pattern. Um, uh, but even then, like, a, a good drummer can definitely do that. Like, I'd have to work myself up a little bit to it, but, like, <coughs> excuse me. But, you know, a, a deathcore drummer could definitely do that kind of stuff. Uh, then, like I said before, production was just on point. Like, I really enjoyed this song. Um, there's supposed to be a collection coming out, Darkness. Uh, I'm super excited for it. Um, and I'm, I, just, I just love Searching Serenity, like everything um, Robert puts out is just quality and I can't wait for it. This has definitely hyped me up even more than I already was. So now I want you to go into the comments, let me know your thoughts on the song, whether you agree with uh, my assessment, whether you disagree with it, whether you think it was you know the best Deathcore song, or you think it was absolute trash. Um, let me know, but also be respectful. Um, you can think it's the, the worst song ever, but like, you know, be nice about it, you know. No, no need to be a jerk at the comments, please, because that's always nice. Um, but oh, overall, I'd give this probably a yeah, probably a 4.5 out of out of five. Um, the only thing I could really think of was just like a, maybe a little bit more, like on the back end of the song, something really push it and drive it home. But that's such a small small part of it. So like overall, like I love the song. I'm definitely going to be listening to it. Um, but yeah, just let me know what you think. Um, this was Search and Serenity. Um, check him out you know i'm sure you know all of his stuff is on all of the uh platforms um you can find it on facebook um instagram and i'm going to do my best to put that into the, the those links in the comments so let me know what you think stay metal everyone